Hello friends, today we are making a delicious raspberry lemonade to help take the edge off of this summer heat. And for those adults who want a little something more, we will add a few more ingredients to make a drink that is commonly called hippie juice. For the raspberry lemonade, you will need 3 fourths cup fresh or thawed frozen raspberries, 2 cups freshly squeezed lemon juice, which will be about 8 to 12 lemons depending on their size and how much pulp you leave in and two cups of super fine sugar, not to be confused with powdered sugar, also known as confectioner sugar, which has cornstarch in it. Super fine sugar is just a finer grain granulated sugar that dissolves more easily. But if you're like me, you don't have any of this. Most recipes that need super fine sugar will work with just putting the same amount in regular granulated sugar into a blender or food processor to cut it down to size, then remeasure it to make sure you still have the right amount. Optionally, you can slice up some strawberries to drop in for a nice look and they taste great with this drink. Take your 3 4 cup raspberries and puree them. Then press them through a fine mesh sieve over a pitcher or large bowl to get the seeds out. Use a spatula to press out all the juice that you can get. Juice your lemons and pull out the seeds. You can also run this through the sieve to get all the pulp out. Add the 2 cups of lemon juice to the raspberry puree. Add 9 cups of water. This recipe makes just over 13 cups, so you may want a large pitcher or to cut down how much you make. Then add the 2 cups of super fine sugar. Whisk all of this together until the sugar dissolves and chill it in the fridge for at least an hour. Now to spice it up a little bit. To make the hippie juice, you will need 1 and a half cup watermelon vodka, 1 third cup triple sec, and 1 half cup of coconut rum. Add all of this to a measuring bowl. Use your raspberry lemonade to bring the total up to 7 cups. Then slice up 5 strawberries and add that to the mix. Chill it in the fridge until you're ready to drink. You can garnish this drink with a strawberry, lemon, and maybe a little basil or mint for some green. So try it and tell me what you think or what you would do differently. Switch up what kind of vodka you use to change the flavor. I've heard that cherry is pretty delicious too. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and share with your friends. You can also check out some of my other videos. Enjoy your drink and have a great summer!